Hey guys, how's it going? Today we're here at the Hotel La Piazza. I hope I pronounced it right. Okay, so we're at, let me redo that again. Hotel La Piazzetta. And uh, we're here to have some breakfast because the owner, you know, graciously invited us to have some breakfast with him. So we're just gonna, you know, come in here and uh, shoot a little video. So without further ado, enjoyed some of that b-roll i'm gonna show you guys a little bit more and uh we're just gonna you know keep enjoying our day and i uh, can't wait to go to the flea market it's gonna be a lot of fun going out there so all right look they have a little gift shop here it looks amazing i love all the little things they have in here so you guys can come check this out as well again breakfast amazing the whole experience is amazing everything looks great I couldn't check i couldn't show you guys any rooms because they were all occupied but you know um at the very least uh i'll provide all the information to this place down in the description at the bottom of the video so that way um you guys can come and uh you know you can go check it out for yourself and anytime you're staying in merida you know definitely definitely check this place out for sure so all right let me show you guys a little more around the place all right
yeah, this place seems like really, really, really cool. The owner's super nice. The food was incredible. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it a lot. And um, I'm just walking around this place, uh, see if I can show you guys around. Up here are some rooms. I guess those might be rooms over there. There's a hammock for you to chill. Looks like a really nice place so far. I'm guessing back here, we got like a little garden. Look at all this cool stuff. Look at this. This looks like a really nice, cool hotel. So I guess these are the rooms here. There's like a room there. You got a little backyard out here. Yeah, see, look, these are the rooms. That's pretty cool. So yeah, you know, this is really nice, real chill. You can't beat this. I love it. It's cool. All right. So, you know, right now we already finished breakfast. Everything was great and yummy and delicious. And we're like literally on our way now to, you know, uh, the flea market. So, yeah, we'll see you guys when we get there. Hola, ¿cómo está? Bien, bien. Bien, bien. See, everyone's really friendly out here. It's all right, we're just going to go back inside. Everyone's waiting for me so we can get out of here. All right. <laughs> all right, guys. I know I promised you guys that we're going to head out to the flea market in today's episode. But what's really gonna happen is that I'm just gonna show you guys a few scenes for our tomorrow's episode and tomorrow's when we're going to the flea market. Now, sure, we did it all on Sunday. <laughs> we had an amazing time at the flea market today and an amazing time at breakfast, but I couldn't all fit it all into one episode, so I'm cutting this up into two episodes. So um, I hope you really enjoyed uh, today's episode where we got to hang out with a dear friend of ours, uh, Leopold, uh, which owns, uh, you know, the hotel La Piazza, uh, La Piazzella. I'm sorry, I know I'm butchering the name, but I'm leaving all the information down at the bottom of the description because that does it a lot better. I'm sorry, I, I, I butchered it and, uh, and I suck with that. But anyways, regardless, you know what doesn't suck? The breakfast that we had, you know what else didn't suck? That place that we went to, I mean, seriously, um, it, we, he was such a gracious host. The place is amazing. I can't recommend it enough. If you're coming out from out of town and traveling through, I definitely recommend you know you guys stay there. And um, he's not the only place. This is not the only place I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of different places, you know, in the upcoming weeks and so on and so forth. So, um, in fact, you know, next week I'm going to be working with uh, another friend of mine, another client, and I'm going to take my camera and I'm going to record, you know, my whole uh, process over there. Um, and uh, that's where my mom stayed actually last uh, when she came to visit last year. So, you know, again, you know, there's a lot of small business owners out here Then we're all one small community, one big, huge community into the small community and uh, yeah it's just awesome out here and I, I freaking love it and I can't wait to show you guys so much more and again if you guys uh, are coming down here sure Airbnbs are great and you know I recommend all kinds of things I'm always recommending just to come in down to Merida but at the end of the day it doesn't matter where you stay if you're staying in an Airbnb or a hotel um, there's lots of advantages you know to um, you know coming out here you know what i mean to, to finding a place to stay out here you know the only thing i would not recommend is staying at like the holiday inn or the marriott or the hyatt you know don't stay at those places you know seriously you can there's so many boutique hotels out here just like the one that i showed you guys in today's episode that are just so much more worth it you know not only are they a lot cheaper you know literally you know they're a lot you know friendlier on your pocket but they're just so much better, you know what I mean? Like when it comes around to, you, you know, to just the service and um, the place itself. And I highly recommend these places, you know, higher, you know, again, you know, the, the people that like hotels and the people that like Airbnbs are two different types of people. Um, believe it or not, when I travel, um, I, I, it depends on where I'm going, but a lot of times I do prefer hotels. And if I'm gonna stay in a hotel, I'm gonna stay in a boutique type place. Um, again, it just depends on the place, you know, um, where I would stay, but you know, this place, you know, which I showed you guys in today's video, um, again, you know, is, is an amazing, um, not, not only is it an amazing place to stay at, but it also has, it's an amazing location. It's literally right um, in the center of the city, the center of its center, only a few um, stone, a few blocks away walking distance, you know, again, five minutes walking distance from its center, I mean, from its Socalo, which is, you know, the center, center of the city and all that good stuff. So again, guys, um, 
I would de I definitely recommend you coming out here and hanging out there. Again, I had an amazing time. Christian had an amazing time. Um, John had an amazing time. We all had an amazing time. And in fact, the amazing time continued because all you know we got fueled up there so well you know with um, that yummy breakfast that you know we ended up going to the the flea market which was again in Mercado de Roque which is all the way at the south of the city so again for a lot of you guys out there that have been asking me you know to go and check out other neighborhoods and other parts of the city you know we've already been through the north I've already shown you other parts here and there when I can and tomorrow we're going all the way to the south literally at the south as it gets in the city and uh we're gonna experience you know the the gritty part of uh, merida the, again uh, to me i loved it it was amazing it was super cool and um and I, I can't wait to share it with you guys so you guys can also check it out and see you know um you know every aspect of merida all right seriously because i'm sure that a lot of you guys will see you know tomorrow uh, this episode and you'll be like damn i would like to live in a neighborhood like that again some of you guys want to live in the north and again we're all different people. Some of you guys want to live right here in the center where I live. So, all right, guys. I think I've, uh, you know, filled it up enough with enough talking here. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's episode. I hope you guys are enjoying all the stuff on this channel, not just today's episode. And um, thank you for showing me all the love. Thank you for to all you guys out there, all my patrons. Thank you to all of you guys out there that are constantly contributing, that are constantly, you know, buying t-shirts or leaving comments or likes or sharing all these videos. Or again, even, you know, most of you guys, you know, that they come out here, you know, I want to thank all you guys, every single one of you, you know who you are, that every time you come out here to Merida, you look me up and uh, you want to hang out. Remember, you know, the feeling is mutual. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, um, for you know, I remember I'm a busy guy and sometimes it's a little hard, you know, for, for us to meet up, sh meet up short notice. But for most of you guys out there that, you know, again, you guys um, hit me up, you you contact me um, way ahead of time. You know, for the most part, it's, it's uh, you know, I always have time to meet up with you guys and we have an amazing time. And again, you know, that you guys show me, you know, a lot of hospitality as I'm showing you guys hospitality. I'll show you guys around town, you know, you guys, you know, pick up the beers whatever and it's really really freaking cool you know again honestly because it's like uh you know we're each all of us giving <laughs> all right that was my fault my bad there i literally just ran out of battery long day but anyways as i was saying guys seriously the feeling is mutual and it makes me feel awesome you know when you guys come out here and you guys you know you want to you know again buy me a beer buy me a taco buy me a whatever because it's like you just want to uh, say thank you you know um just like I'm always saying thank you to you guys and it's like we're both constantly giving each other value and it's like it's an amazing uh friendship community um just just everything you know what i mean like it's it's like i love it and i'm still like uh you know humbled every single day every single time that i meet any one of you guys and uh you know the adventure is only beginning and uh seriously I, I love that i get to help you guys in every single way possible i love it that you know we get to meet up i love it that uh you know we're building this community together that i'm not just the only one doing this that we're we're all in it together and uh it's amazing and uh i just want it to continue and um it will continue i mean again you know why I'm, I'm making merida mexico my home but it doesn't mean i'm not going to be traveling and making a lot more of these really cool videos and showing you guys the world through my eyes so all right guys with that being said thank you so much for being here thank you so much for always being here don't forget to please like please subscribe please share please hit that bell icon and don't forget to just stay awesome all right literally i mean thank you so much for just uh just being here and watching my video all the way through thanks again and i'll see you tomorrow don't forget we're heading to el mercado de roque all right laters bye bye back to work
chapulines, arándanos, arándanos, chapulines. You want some chapulines? <laughs> so those are grasshoppers there, guys. <laughs> those are the grasshoppers. Oh, look. You guys ever try that? Or no? Yeah, those are good. Those are yummy deliciousness. We got over here um, snow cones. Hola. 